So, so guys, I wanted to talk with with you guys about uh, Cyberpunk 2077. I know that, and I know it from the Discord of uh, Cyberpunk, that a lot of people are flaming this game for all the bugs that are in it, and hey, rightfully so. But you know, I might be someone that's like, you know, uh, quite easily amused. Because I enjoyed the game, I've met some bugs like some characters when you uh, when you walk into them, like NPCs looking like goddamn PlayStation One characters, like five polygons or whatever or six whatever they used. And uh, yeah, <laughs> that's uh, no, overall that's fine because that goes away quite quickly. And now with the new new hotfix, it goes. Even, uh, even quicker away, you know, so that's cool. And the driving, I don't know, I'll, I'll just quickly say this I like the story, I kind of like it, you know. Uh, I I like the combat, even though it's clunky sometimes. Uh, I like, um, what else do I like? I like the whole looting system, I guess. I, I like the way the guns look. Uh, the characters are pretty cool and look like a nice design. Although I've seen that a lot of characters seem to have a, seem to have had a different treatment than others. If you feel what I mean, like some some people or some characters look really detailed and look really nice, and some just look like shit. You know, some just look like fucking garbage. And hey, I don't mind that, but you know, it's definitely definitely noticeable. When you're playing and you're like, oh look, that's a pretty cool looking NPC. And then you look at, like, at the other one and you're like, what the fuck is this monstrosity? Well, not monstrosity, but yeah. So, uh, yeah, it's just... And, you know, the thing is that I really enjoyed it. But when I went and joined the Cyberpunk Discord before it launched. And when it launched, a lot of people were flaming it. And I just, it kind of... It's annoying because it really influences you, you know. I feel like, and I want to give a message of with this video too, that if you bought this game or cracked it or whatever you did, please, and you enjoy it, please do not look at their Discord. Please do not go there. Because everyone is flaming that Discord and flaming the developers and whatever. And hey, rightfully so, you know, because I, I heard and I've seen the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, it looks like hell. It's, it's fucking terrible. But I think the other consoles, so PS5, Xbox Series X and PC look, you know, decent. And, you know, normal, although the optimization is a bit fucked. But, you know, it's alright. One thing I'm also really... Well, not really mad, but just fucking annoys me is that with one of the trailers, they basically spoiled a uh, a major bit in one of the in one of the early missions of the prologue, and I didn't know that. I thought it was just you know that that bit was just for show. But when I watched Shroud, I think because streamers were able to stream it before it was released fucking unfair but you know it happens and when it reached that point i was like bro this is in the trailer and if you've pretty much watched kind of every trailer like i have then you know which trailer i mean you will know what i mean but yeah overall like i said i like the game the designs are pretty cool. The character creation is a bit disappointing. Or not not really disappointing, but a bit underwhelming. I don't know. And you, you know how you can like make make uh, your cock size and that sort of bullshit. It's just that... Well, it's not really a spoiler. But it's just that when you use it, it's... You don't, you don't even see it. You know? So when you take off your pants... In the inventory screen, you see your whole, you see your your dick dangling, 
but when you go, uh, you know, back in the game, some fucking boxers, some fucking shorts, TP to your fucking pants. Which to me is kind of, you know, annoying because they said, hey, yo, you want some genitals? Hell yeah. And then they're like, oh yeah, sorry, they don't really do anything. So that's kind of annoying. But overall, even though with all the critique and even though all the all the nonsense that is happening, I really enjoy this game. Uh, maybe when I finish the story and some of the other missions, I'll give a f like a final verdict right now. You probably won't agree with this. But uh, right now, I would say I'd give this game like, I don't know, a fucking seven or something. And honestly, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be a hundred with you. But, uh, this game, uh, even though it has all the ray tracing and stuff, does not look that graphically uh, amazing to me. I know that's like, wow, how can you say that? But to me, I've played Death Stranding, which, which is less demanding, and to me, and I may be biased, but to me it looks way better. Same for Red Dead Redemption 2, looks way better than this game. This game has the typical, um, what, what shall I call it, RPG graphics, you know? It looks good, but it, at sometimes it also doesn't. But yeah, that, that's just what I think about it. Oh yeah, I like the cyberware. But for some reason, when you make like your character, you can't change your haircut. Even though in the games like Fallout, you can change your haircut, I think. Like when you, you know, when you just progress in the game. So that that's kind of odd to me. But yeah, that's all I wanted to say about the game. I'm curious what y'all think about the game. If, if you've even bought it. Or cracked it because literally after literally I'm pretty sure the day it got launched or a day after it got launched it got fucking cracked not even AC Valhalla got cracked after it launched like damn they were really fast <laughs> well I'm gonna see you guys later and goodbye and I'll probably stream some game later today see you later guys